What's up, you guys? What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another sit down video with the R&B fam. By the title of this video, guys, we are going to be doing a little truth or shot. What's going to be more what, of a truth drink. or drink? Yeah, truth or drink. Scared, we're scared to get drunk right now. Yeah, and we it's got school, like um, night. yeah, it's a school night today, so we're just going to take it real chill and easy today because we'll make it up for you guys though. We'll, we'll, you guys will get a yeah, real, you guys. We'll do the real deal and on another vlog. It's just yeah. that today was just something fast and easy. We're like, yeah, let's we just to. film, you know. But you guys, before we get started, I want to give a huge shout out to Vita for sponsoring this video if you guys don't know what vita is you guys it is a video editing app that we've been using lately and i'm like obsessed with it i've actually used it on some videos and it's really simple it's uh fairly easier than using adobe flash player or uh final cut pro so it's it's more for beginners since i have trouble using adobe i've and, tried to teach and, uh, him so final many cut times pro. this one i like using you can use it for anything you could use it for uh Remixing your kid's soccer game. It can yeah. go from uh, football plays that you want to get done, your kids running around, anything. And it's really easy to transition to. So like Ramiro was saying, it is a very fast um, editing app for beginners, such as him. He doesn't really know how to use software editing apps that I have. So this is a beginner's app, or even like just for me, I can use it to, just to do a little cute video of me and him, like, you know, your boyfriend and girlfriend app. Um, I mean editing app it's so simple to use and what I like about it is it has every feature that software app would have it has like from cropping to zooming in to animation to transition transitioning um even doing little cute aesthetic videos that you would want The best part about it is 100% free. So when I when I found that out, that was my favorite thing about it because usually mm -hmm. you have to spend a couple hundred dollars on a good software. Yeah. So it was really simple to use and I've been using it, she's been using it. We and if you guys are on a budget and you guys need something fast and just um, you don't have like your laptop or even software editing app, you guys, I would definitely recommend to vlog off your phone or make videos off your phone and then of course use Vita to edit your apps. It has everything that you need to edit a vlog yeah now you nowadays your your video on your phone is, is pretty high definition so using vita to make your videos is probably even just as good as using a laptop so it's a perfect app to you know enhance your experience making a video or creating content that you want to keep or doing something cute for your lady for your, your dude whatever you want to do and the the coolest part about it is you can remove any watermark from uh, any video that you want to edit. So that's the big plus on it. Usually you have to pay for stuff like that on some applications. So mm -hmm. th this one's completely free. Literally everything free on here. Me and Amino absolutely love Vita. If you guys want, check it out. The link is in the description and I hope you guys love it just as much as we do. So moving on, you guys, we are going to be doing our little drink or truth. Yeah. So I'm it's going to get I'm juicy. I'm scared of this one. Why? I don't know. The people be asking some crazy questions, so. I was about to get juicy. I went ahead and asked you guys on Instagram to give us some questions for Truth or Shot. So it could be as juicy as you guys want. And you guys, I'm sorry. I wish I could be drinking, you know, hard liquor. But I've been having, like, a lot of stomach issues. You guys know I've already had kidney stone and stuff like that. So I'm, like, trying to keep it easier, huh? Yeah, like, and I, I, I have my own little situation yeah so we're both kind of like uh like i've been kind of like trying to cut off drinking alcohol hard liquor only like on special occasions when it's when i know it's going to be worth it but just to like have shots like that like i've kind of like it just gives me asco and i just can't do it no more just because like my problem that i have with my stomach so therefore we are going to be drinking white, white cloth don't judge me let's do a little cheers and I chose mango because I think mango is like the best white claw for Mango's fire. I'm not really a big fan of white claw, but... This is my first white claw. I've had seltzers, the the Corona seltzers, but I haven't had a white claw. Yeah. Remember? Uh-huh. Get them Hmm. Hey guys, this is a little disclaimer. So me and Amir are going to be answering questions for you guys. And we're just going to say the truth and nothing but the truth because we want you guys to see the real us and like stuff that actually goes on between us so this isn't gonna be like sugar coated no, or nothing no so. sugar coated or we're the perfect couple like we do have our issues we do have problems just like any other couple does so um that's just like a little disclaimer that we got yeah. don't take things too serious that we say because at the end of the day we're still in up and we're always going to be together so we don't married. care about the rest this is how we're going to get started 
I'm just gonna be oh coming God. on here and just be reading the questions out. So let's see what I'm. So I think we'll take turns. You know. Okay. You can ask me whatever you want, and I'll ask you whatever you want, and with no hesitation, like. No hesitation. There's gonna be a lot of hesitation if you tripping. Okay. So. Like I said, it's either truth or drink. So if you don't answer it, just drink. I'm gonna start off hard. Oh God. What's your body count? I'm not gonna say that. Oh, do I just drink? I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> I'm not saying that. Why not? Huh? You don't wanna let us know? You don't speak about that. Okay, here. Uh, let me see. Uh, who is more jealous? I would say yeah. Say the truth. Please say the truth. Don't lie to these people, all right? I mean, of course, I would say I'm a little bit more jealous, but I feel like it's a normal, natural type of jealous. It's not like on some cycle. No, I, I like her jealous. Her jealous is funny. It's like... It's funny? I like it, shit. It makes it, it's just, it's funny. She'll be like, you better not be this. You better not be this. Here's this. Please don't do this. Like, it's shit I already know. Mm. But I, you know, I wouldn't even dare do, but... It's funny because I, I never... Well, don't test it. I never get a reaction out of her. And whenever like I'm leaving, she'll give me the runaround. And uh, it's pretty funny. But I like it. It's nothing bad. I enjoy it. Hmm. Whoa, a lot of these are crazy. Oh, God. A lot of crazy ones. Is it true that we broke up in Palm Springs? Um, no, it wasn't. We didn't. we didn't. Because I'm not gonna lie, we did have like a little argument while we went to Palm Springs, so that is the truth. And I got we got mad at each other, and like I unfollowed him. I actually, I, was, I think I blocked you. That I was pissed. I let I drove like two and a half hours. Back oh, to we're the seeing house. all that. Yeah, I was pissed. But it was, yeah, it was something. It wasn't. It wasn't so big, but I. I, I just. It felt, wasn't on that like type of level. It was just like an argument that we had. Like we were drunk and stuff, and like. We were just like, I don't know, just stuff just started getting out of hand, but it was never, it had nothing to do with like somebody being involved or no, like cheating was... or no, nothing like that. It was just like an argument that we had and it just blew out of proportion because of course like, you know, we were drinking. No, and I, so. I, I do the most, I swear. I do, yeah. I do the most. I'll be like, you know what, fuck this. I'm, I'm going. Yeah, and that's like the Libra in him, I want to say because... I was I'll be stubborn. Like, I'll be stubborn to a point, and then after I'll feel guilty a little bit. Yeah, he's like, really, Shit. really stubborn, and I feel like I always got to talk to him about working on that because that's one thing that I'm always like that I don't like about him because it's like, it'll be something so small, and then it's like he wants to play this ignoring. But for to so me, long. some of the, some things that she thinks is small is a big deal to me. So I'll be like, you know what? And we deal with the difference. She'll be over stuff in ten minutes. Fast. And me, yeah, I'll, I'll, shit, I'll take. I don't know. It could be. It could be an hour. It can be a week. Who knows? It just depends. But I, I, I'm. I'm starting to get better at it. I try not to let that bit. interfere too much into our relationship. So. Yeah, actually, he's been doing a little bit better with not being. A so lot. Yeah, you're tripping. I've been doing hella good. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Um, I got one for it. What? What's your favorite sex position? <laughs> really? You really have to go this. Okay. Um. I know. Let me see. No, you say. <laughs> I kind of like everything. To be honest, I don't really have a favorite in particular. I don't. Oh, oh yeah, I know. I feel like to me, like anyways, just like I like so. As long as you you know what you don't care. Yeah, like that's all that matters to me. As long as it gets the job done, I'm fine. So that's uh, my answer. So my question is, would you ever want a threesome? Shit, no, you're you you're, you're too much. Just one. What can I do with two? I like you're you're bad. You you got a fat ass. Wow. You got a you know what? I'm just gonna take a drink. Everything's that. fire. So, I mean, two is already too many. So, I don't know. I'll just stick to you. He thought about this one, guys. No, I didn't. It was easy. Has Brit ever tracked your phone? I mean. It's not really that I checked it, but remember you put your GPS on and then ended up taking it off. So I never knew that you can, um, what is it? Turn location on. Yeah, I didn't know that that was like a GPS on your phone. So yeah. she had told me to turn it on, I think when I was, where was I going? 
you weren't going nowhere. You Remember we talked turn... about it? Like Yeah, and I, t I turned it on because I didn't even know, you know, what it was for, but... I guess it's if you go missing or something. Yeah, like, to be stuff. honest, it's just like to see how far you you're gonna be from home. Like whenever you go somewhere, like or just like, cause I feel like me and my family, I'm used to always having that on because we've all had it on. My mom, my sister, my aunt. We we all know where we're all at. You know, just in case. Like if my mom goes on a date, I know exactly where she's at. So yeah that was the safety. purpose of it really more for safety and reasons. i have nowhere to go to hide you know from her yeah so we like... we live together so you know it's not like wherever he goes i go wherever i go he goes someone asked if i have any beef with any youtubers no actually she's probably like the most chill person that i've ever met like uh I, I don't think she hates anybody for no reason or uh, she has beef with anybody. Mm -hmm. She's always cordial even uh, if, you know, if other people disagree with uh, certain people, you know, she never picks sides. So it's uh, yeah. it's really until you, if, if you meet her and then, you know, she doesn't like your vibe, then she'll let you know 100%. So it's not like she won't hate anybody until she meets them, even if she hears from other people that, yeah, you know. Cause I feel like we always hear like this happened on social media and these influencers or whatever are beefing and I'm like... Okay, I don't care based off that. I have to like, meet you in person and actually get to know you and know who you are as a person before I could judge you. So You know, and she's always like neutral when it comes to stuff. If people are having beefs, it's, it's never like... Uh, I'm be it's, it's not a pick or side and, it, and nobody forces her. I mean, I feel like anybody that forces you to pick a side is kind of on the off end. But, you know, she's, she, she's, you know she'll think about things before, uh, you know, analyzing and saying, Hey, okay, I picked this person's side. So... She listens to both point of view, so yeah, that's pretty cool about her. Yeah, you guys. So I always see like beef on the internet with other influencers and stuff, but me and Brandon are we stay away from all that. We get along with everybody, so we've never had actual beef with anybody on the internet, like any influencer or anything like that. We get along with everybody, so I'm just gonna drink because. All right, it's my turn. Mm-hmm. Toss me something. All right. Have you ever sucked my toe? I have. Whoa. I don't even remember this. I was probably drunk. Does this sound disgusting? But I don't know where he'll speak. lick my toe. Yeah, I'm just playing around. I didn't think you really do it. <laughs> no, he damn near shoves it in my in my throat. Wait, what? So Close like, your mouth. <laughs> he acted like I wanted to do that because I'm like, that's so nasty. But it no. wasn't when he just got out the shower and I know. His feet were we clean. have we have like no I don't I don't think I'm embarrassed to do anything with her like nothing I feel like, like we play around nothing. like that we like, just mess around with each other but it's like uh, it's not like give me your toe just being spontaneous it. yeah it's it's just uh, spontaneous type of things like, yeah out of nowhere we're so random with each other like do this do that do that and but like, that's how that's how you know like you know when we're together and we're doing that it, we're, that means we're always on good terms so. Like she'll even notice, like, hey, you're not being like crazy with me or saying like, you know, out of out of pocket stuff. Like I'm always saying weird stuff with her. Yeah, I feel like when he's like mellow and quiet and like not goofing around with me or trying to make me laugh or trying to like play fight with me on the bed, I'm like, what's wrong with you? Because I don't like it. Like I don't. I want you to be yourself. I want you to play fight with me and make me laugh and be your goofy self, random and everything. Like, that's what I like. Okay, let's see. So I have another one. Is it true? Do you have any beef with? Um, the kid's dad. <laughs> no, we're cordial. Uh, I mean, cordial. I, you know, he, we just respect each other's boundaries, so it's not, um, well, there is really no boundaries, to be honest. We just, I mean, it's not, what am I going to do? I just feel like do it's I go just... kick his ass because he's the kid's dad? No, I, you got to respect it, and that's it. You got to keep it moving. I feel like everybody's normal. Everybody knows their place, and everybody's just like... It's, it's, going, it's, it's, just, kids. it's just going with the flow. It's I mean, it's really easy. Mm -hmm. You can make it hard. I, I mean, he can make it hard on me. I can make it hard on him. But we choose to just make it easier for the kids because there's no point. Of, yeah, uh, we just like dragging it on for smooth. anything. So, I mean, for the most part, we're we're always on good terms. It's just uh, it's just a you know a situation that we have, and we just you know manage through. It's not nothing big or nothing I didn't expect. You know, I kind of already expect she already had kids, so I knew that from the bat. So. It was yeah. something that I was going to have to, you know, it come was... to terms with. All right, this one I got a lot, so I don't know why you guys are so interested in this, but how many times a week do we have sex? I want to say at least once a day. Yeah, if it was up to me, probably four or five times a day. I don't know what's <laughs> wrong with me, but... No, yeah, at least once a day. Um... It's like impossible because she walks out... 
the shower, you know how. Uh, yeah. It's 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 such a. I don't know if you're. I don't know. It's just. My I think mind it's pretty going fair, like, pretty normal, you know, like. Yeah, if you're not doing that with your partner, then I I don't know what's wrong with you. I know. I, I guess feel like you better go find a new dude or girl. And or I feel anything. like to me in a relationship, that's how like you guys like bond and like. How you guys is? Well, that's like our pri uh, our privacy moments, our intimacy moments. So it's uh, it's I pretty cool. I think it just makes you special. Like it just makes you be like, oh my god. Like, special, fun, and spontaneous. That's what's cool about it. You know, you could you're with her all the time, or you're mm -hmm. with him all the time, and you can you know whenever you feel like it. That's the convenience of being in a relationship as well. Not just that, but that's it a just, big part. So yeah. it's pretty cool. To, it just makes you guys stronger, and like it makes you guys connect in a different way. Cause imagine if if you guys weren't to have if any if a couple yeah. wasn't to have sex. I mean, you gotta like, think about it. it reduces stress. It you're reduces, not moody. You're not moody. You're, you're, you're you less headaches. Probably feel more active, even though I'm taking a nap every time. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, it's it's big in relationships. So yeah, it's important almost every day. Yeah, pretty much. Um. Okay, so someone asked this question. Have you ever covered up for the kids to where mama still don't know? Yeah, probably on the daily. <laughs> well, we're boys, come on. What oh, do you hell think, no. What do you think we're going to do? You it's because, like, I'd rather, I rather her not know, like, something minor than hear her high-pitched yelling voice because that shit is, like, ear-piercing. Like, God, that, that's I one thing care. that probably, like, irritates me. Her, her high-pitched voice is insane when she yells for the kids. It is crazy. Jaden! Sounds crazy. I'm like, so I'm like, you know what? This isn't that minor. Say they spilt something, or like, you know, I'd rather just clean it up with them and then tell them not to do it. No, or... but this is a type of sneakiness that I don't like because I've caught them before. This is smart sneakiness until they start abusing it and start telling me, "Hey, I thought you're on my side." Um, well, how does mommy know? But it's you know, it's when it comes to important stuff. No, I like going to sleep early when I have their bedtime, and then they'll try to tell them, you know, in his ear, "Give me the iPads." And bring me the remote control to the TV. Like, that's oh, yeah, the type they, of stuff. They try to extort me with that. And then they hit me with the, I thought you were my friend. Yeah. So, but they, I mean, you got to lay boundaries. And they know uh, what lines to cross with me, what lines not to cross. So, yeah. but if it's something minor and they can avoid getting yelled at or, you know, getting their iPad or whatever taken away. So, I mean, we might as well cover it up. It's small. Mm -hmm. And it builds trust with them. So, well, I don't like when they try to be on that sneaky stuff because that's not gonna work for me I got one for you what is it true you guys are trying to have baby number three um <laughs> sorry it's nothing to laugh about but I don't know it's like I feel like me and Emil talked about it so for like this year we're like we want to yeah it's uh I mean I, I have no kids besides you know Tsai and JJ um but in the future I'm I still uh I still tell her I want to get married with her first I just don't like putting anything out there yeah in the air just because I'm like so like if stuff if it happens it happens if it doesn't it doesn't yeah. it's just I just don't like to put it out in the air but we talked about it this year and yeah my whole goal and her in goal the as well of the year. is uh you know buying a house together um establishing, our, uh, establishing ourselves uh, in the house uh as well as getting married, that's a big one. So, I want to do stuff the right way this time, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, have everything in order. But yeah, for sure, I'm, I want to have babies with her. Um, if it happens, it happens. If we take our time, we take our time. So it's, it's just our choice. So nothing yeah, so we got to force on each other. Yeah, so if you guys see something soon, I don't know, guys. Just no. No, we warned you. <laughs> do we make our own sex videos? Um, Drink or shot? Right. I'm answering this. Uh, uh, I'm answering all this shit. Uh, I mean, every now and then we'll 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 mess around and do something. Just when she, you know, she'll be looking all fine and shit. So I was like, you know what? Fuck this. I need this. When we're old, when we're old, we'll have a mixtape of this shit. I said, we're, we're, I always tell that. I was like, when we're old, when we're like 75 or something, we'll look back and watch these. And be like, he damn, that was that. us. We so, always be like. But, uh, um, it's not on my phone, so nobody tries to steal my phone. It's, I always have everything in an external hard drive, so. And not luck. only that, but I always tell him that it's, I don't want it for you to keep, but for me to keep only because I just feel like when you're in a relationship, you feel like you could, not saying I don't trust him, I'm just speaking out for everybody out there that like you don't ever know what 
your significant other might be capable of doing. Jeez. So I feel like if you guys do want to take it to that level, make sure you guys are, are on a good understanding of who gets to keep it, but I get to keep it. Yeah, she has a hard drive, so it's uh, you know, it's up to her, and uh, it's not something we do all the time. It's just whatever. Yeah, it's just like, like don't think don't every think we're all some like porn this. star shit. Yeah. Like, no. Like, but I mean, it's cool to have. I mean, if you plan on spending your life with somebody, I feel like there's nothing wrong with it because you just want to get a little like freaky or you know. Shit, try it. That shit looks tight on video. So. That. Yeah, that's just, yeah, but like you said, it's not something we do like on a regular, you know? You wanted me to take a shot of that, huh? <laughs> Hell no. I'm like, you have the, I just wanted to make it juicy for you guys, but I didn't think that he's over here gonna spill all. I mean, I don't care. It's something, you know, it's not obtainable by anybody else, so it's okay. I'm over here getting all nervous and shit, like. Another one. This is a big one that everybody's been sending me to, so. Am I the best ex partner that you've had? A hundred percent. And you guys, I'm not saying this because like, I'm in a relationship with him, but I've done things I've never done before in my life. Let's just keep it. Let's just keep it there. Like I'm, I'm old. It's like first time for everything in this relationship. I feel like, and I think that's a good thing. Like yeah, it's pretty, pretty crazy. Like, stuff I didn't know. I so. this girl's damn near brand new. It's crazy. Shut up. <laughs> People don't need to know all that, okay? It's a chooser shot. They need to know everything. I know, but we don't gotta get too deep. Yeah, that's the point. We have to get too deep. This is what people want to know. I got that question like 800 times. Wow. So, let's see. Okay. Um, someone said, y'all messed around before making it official. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I had, you know, it's just something that happens. I don't know. Nowadays, I don't think I'm away like a year, and then we did, you guys. So we messed around before we we made it official, but it's because. But it wasn't like messing. Like I was already exclusively just with her. So yeah, like we were only well, we so. were dating, 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 and then we started messing around before we went official. But it's like we already knew what we wanted. We kind of talked about what we wanted um, after being with each other for so long, and. Um, I mean, it was nothing. I was, I, I wanted to ask her out like right away. And not only that, but it's like what I wanted to. Like, if it's what you guys both want, then that's totally fine. But if you don't want it, then yeah, don't feel like you gotta, you feel pressured that you gotta sleep with this guy for him to want you. Like, no. No. I, I did it because I wanted to, and I was feeling him already. Wow. And I feel like there's nothing wrong if a girl wants it to. Yeah. There's no way in the budget to say that. To be honest, there's no rule if, uh, if you met the person the same day and you slept with them and. I mean, it can, it can, you can sleep with them the first day, you can sleep with them the 50th Six day, a yeah. hundred days, 200 days, a year, two you years. You could even get married first. Yeah, without even doing anything. It just, it, what works, works. So yeah. there's no uh, guide to a relationship. You just uh, build day by day. So there's no, uh, you know, there's no, there's no book ever written that tells you how to, you know, start a relationship. So yeah, that's a, another thing between us is, you know, whatever we do, we do and we enjoy it. So it's whatever fits best for whoever you're with so yeah you guys so for sure just do whatever you want to do if that's what's gonna if that's what you want in the moment then do what you want yeah fuck it do whatever you want because that's how i thought i'm like i want i want to have my fun too like why is it fair that they could have their fun like, i'm trying to have my fun too so it's it was like a mutual agreement and it's just something mutual agreement you think you didn't think i wanted to sleep with you well it's what something that we did naturally like it just it was mutual <coughs> so man okay moving on okay, um here's one uh does brit let you have hot beautiful female friends yeah i mean i don't care whoever is your friend in the past i don't got no friends bro this but, is my only friend i'm not i'm not falling for that shit. <laughs> I ain't having no, no fucking but friend. To be real, I've never been like you can't have this person as your friend unless I know something about you guys that it's like weird. But if just it's not their friends' fault if they're fine and beautiful, you know what I mean? I don't so, believe I don't believe in that shit. I will never have a beautiful girl best friend. I have friends, but um yeah. yeah, like I make him known. I'm not just gonna pop up like out of nowhere and I'm with her and be like, Hey, I just met this girl, she's my friend. Then Oh like, yeah, that then that's the problem. But I'm yeah. talking about people from the past, if they're his friends, yeah, he like follows all his Friends from high school mm -hmm. and girlfriends that he has, but if they're beautiful, I don't got girlfriends, bro. Rephrase girl that. Girlfriends, um, but if they're beautiful or you know whatever, like that's 
not my issue, you know. I mean, no she doesn't really, standing, yeah, you know? she doesn't really care if uh, they're beautiful or not, as long as you know she knows backstories on my friends. All and, I know um, is that they just have to be friends, and that's it. No, nothing more than that. So. Yep. Okay, let's see. Um, so I think this is gonna be the last question, guys, and we're gonna wrap it up because I feel like we've been answering too many juicy questions, and we haven't even really. I'm done with mine. Mm. Okay. Since Brit is a twin, do you think Brit is the fine aspect too, or? I think they're both beautiful. That's I always say that. Um, she's my girl. That's Fernando's girl. We respect each other with that. But obviously, both of them look beautiful. So, it's not. Um, I never. I. I it's weird because I'm in love with uh, with Brittany. So it's. But like, I, it's... I would never uh, look that way ever in my life. So it's it's a. Uh, it's weird, and she's like my sister, like straight up like my sister. Yeah. Like me and okay. Bree are, are, she's close to me, like really, really close. I never had a sister, and I feel like she's like the closest thing to a sister to me, so. Yeah. Um, everything, and, and she like, you know, with Evie, everything, she lets me play with Evie. She lets me hang out with them, so it's pretty cool. And uh, I respect her as, as, you know, my my sister-in-law and aka my sister because i really feel like she's like the closest thing that i've had to a sister mm -hmm. and she's always looking out for me and bridge so she'll she'll help out with whatever she can and we'll help out with whatever we can so yeah both of them are beautiful everybody knows that um and that's why i always keep it uh it's we do everything together literally so i literally hear everything they're talking about 24 7 so it's insane like everything that, that you know they know about each other i know about them and the same with fernando like it's it's just a group and it's always gonna be like that, so it's pretty cool. And uh, I mean, as long as you know we're all cordial and happy, pretty cool. Yeah. Even though me and Brie are twins, I feel like we don't look the same. We have different personalities. So at the, at the end of the day, even though we're kind of like the same, but we're still different in many ways. So mm -hmm. yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, you guys. I'm gonna try to bring in some new content for you guys. Just let me know what you guys would like to see down below. And I hope this video did enough for you guys. We pretty much answered every question. We did enough. With no hesitation, yeah. you guys. And like I said, we ke we kept it raw and real and no sugar coating, no lying or no anything like that. We just wanted it. Yeah, I only drank one time. I all still the, have. The, I mean, I drink. That, I pretty much drink my whole life. All the other questions we answered, so I mean, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, let us know if you guys have any other videos you guys want us to do because uh, sometimes our mind goes like 100 miles per hour. We don't figure out what to do. But yeah. you guys can just let us know down below. Um, like, comment, share, and subscribe as well. Press the what? No, we don't find anything. Got it down right. Um, push the bell button so they can get notified. So push the bell button, you guys, so you get to get notified every time we post. And thank you guys so much for watching.